Ever wonder what happens to all those single-use plastic forks and spoons, water bottles, and plastic bags you tossed? Well, unfortunately, they can end up here, in the big blue. Every minute, one garbage truck of plastic is dumped into our oceans. But what if this plastic floating in the ocean could become tools to save impoverished communities? Well, there's a model that's addressing humanity's greatest problems, poverty and pollution, using pollution itself. And it's called social plastic. Let's take a deep dive on what this initiative is all about. Across the oceans, billions of pounds of plastic converge into tiny scattered islands that cover about 40% of the water's surfaces. And by 2050, it's projected that this plastic will outweigh all the fish in our oceans. The biggest problem areas of ocean plastic are here, in Southeast Asia. China, Vietnam, the Philippines, Thailand, and Indonesia account for 60% of the plastic waste put out to sea. Here in Indonesia, there's a lack of awareness in plastic disposal. So these local communities, many with high poverty rates, are more likely to be impacted by environmental problems. That's where social plastic comes in. At Plastic Bank Collection Centers in Bali, local families are incentivized to bring collected plastic to the center, where they can exchange it for digital tokens. Using innovative blockchain technology, collectors can then use the tokens to buy needed goods and services, strengthening impoverished communities while cleaning our oceans at the same time. Global companies like SC Johnson are offering vital support in the social plastic movement. They're developing recycling infrastructures as part of the solution to poverty. With this kind of sustainable, incentive-based solution, local economies can thrive. And at the same time, our precious oceans can be recovered. There will only be more hopeful stories like these in the coming months. SC Johnson's CEO and chairman, Fisk Johnson, has literally been diving in to help address the problem firsthand. By 2025, his company has committed to making 100% of its plastic packaging recyclable, reusable, or compostable. Support from companies like this means Plastic Bank have now opened eight collection and recycling centers this year. Together, we can spark economic prosperity and leave our world sparkling clean for the generations of tomorrow.